Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem we're asked to compare the standard deviations of branch F and branch G given these two plots. Now the first thing you need to know is that the SAP will never expect you to calculate the standard deviation of anything. Uh, it's not easy, it takes a while. Um, I've done thousands of problems for the SAT, I've never once had to calculate a standard deviation. So, for that, so knowing that, we have to take a step back and ask, what is this problem actually looking at? And if you actually don't worry about calculating the standard deviation, think about what it means. It means how spread apart or how close together is your data. If you look at these two plots, if you just get rid of these bottom values down here, just completely ignore them, you notice that this is the same spread of data, right? So going from the lowest value, right? Here it's 30, here it's 10, we don't have to worry about that. And moving upwards, we have five, two, two, zero, one, three, one, zero, one. So these have different values, but they're spread apart the same degree, which means the standard deviation is gonna be the same for both branch F and branch G, which is gonna line up with A, saying that they're equal, which is gonna be our final answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.